Now at noon, battling flames and frigid temperatures. Firefighters risking hypothermia, responding to two different homes early this morning. At least eight people lost their homes in the fires this morning. New at noon, Jonah Kaplan shows us how the bitter cold temperature has affected that emergency response. For firefighters this morning, the cold was not just something to feel. It was something to see. Look behind me. There's no water dripping from the house. Everything is frozen. And now look on the ground as well. There had to be rock salt put down so that firefighters wouldn't slip and fall. The first fire sparked just after midnight at this three-story home near Richards and Keefe. The low temperature overnight, five degrees with a wind chill of 10 below. Our hypothermia is a big risk. A lot of times our ears are exposed. Um, when we get into the heat of battle, there are things that uh, maybe we don't do as good a job as we could have. Four families lived inside the home. Only two people suffered minor injuries. Firefighters confirmed the blaze ignited in the basement and was put out before sunrise. The battalion, though, had little time to warm up. A second fire tore through a house near 49th and Lisbon. We were called in for a fire on the second floor. The same battalion, 28 firefighters, helped save another four people, all while trying to help each other. We were constantly um, bringing them in, bringing them out. The frigid temperatures also freeze firefighting efforts because of the hydrants. These pipes underneath froze, so firefighters had to use a second hydrant. They have hoses 500 feet long, and if they need to go another block, they'll piggyback with another chuck and create a long chain. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. And residents confirmed the second fire at 49th and Lisbon was the same house where Alexis Patterson lived. She was the young girl who disappeared on her walk to school more than 10 years ago. Her family does not live there anymore.